Hi, I'm John Evans and welcome to the Pick Connection. Today we're at Head Start, Early Head Start. We'll be talking about the Center of Excellence. So please stay with us. This is going to be a great show. Hi, with me right now is Jackie Hoppy. She is the director of the Head Start, Early Head Start of Fayette County. Jackie, thanks so much for coming on the program today. Happy to do it. We appreciate what you're doing to share the good news about our Center of Excellence. Great. Plus, and got Chip, too. Chip and a nice place to sit, like <laughs> our bus. <laughs> hey, I am really excited about today's program because mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be talking about the Center of Excellence here mm -hmm. at Head Start, Early Head Start. And Jackie, how did that process of recognition all get started? Well, actually, it was a wonderful process that really started probably long before the recognition happened. Mm -hmm. started when um, the Private Industry Council um, got the grant for the actual Head Start program in 1994. Um, as they wrote the grant, they decided that they wanted to exceed all of the requirements and just kind of go the extra mile. And because they've been doing that, and we as a, as a group have been doing that since 1994, mm -hmm. it was easy for us to be able to, I think, be recognized by the governor's office first, and then um, to also be recognized by the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Um, we were actually one of the first 10 centers of excellence that were recognized, and because of our recognition, we actually received um, a, another grant, um, mm -hmm. some funding to do a special project. So it's really something that I think we've done for a long time, uh -huh. but we always take everything we do t for the, to the next level and, and try to go the extra mile with everything yeah, we absolutely. do. Absolutely. Everybody does here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can take no credit for what happens here. <laughs> this, this group of people are, are very passionate, very committed, and really have the families and the children at heart. Yeah. And, and so that's really what makes us a center of excellence. And on top of it, we've been recognized for it. That's fantastic. You going to show us around? Absolutely. Let's take a walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing? Well, I think we're going to go take a walk, John. We're going to take a walk? Yeah, we really need to do that. Well, show me how the kids get to school. Oh, well, we could do that. Oh, okay. In fact, let me introduce you to Debbie. Hi, Our Debbie. Girl, she is our transportation manager. She's also responsible for all of our um, early childhood activities. Um, so she can tell you lots of stuff. Fantastic. You're going to show us around. I'm actually going to talk to you about our buses. Okay. About our fleet of buses. All right. We have a fleet of 19 buses that represent $1.5 million investment in our program to bring children back and forth from school every day. Um, that spans a 40-mile radius of our centers across the county. Um, so as you can see, with the 19 buses, it keeps us busy. Yeah, it's like a mini school district. It surely is. Wow. It costs about $5,000 a month to keep our buses running so that our children can come and receive services. Fantastic. And later on, later on in the program, we'll see an award that you're going to be receiving. Yes. From Sitco. Yes. All right, fantastic. All right, so now we're going Let's go inside so you can see what happens in the classes. Okay, come on in. Follow us. Hi, John. This is uh, Tanya Heider. She's our assistant director. She's going to take you on the floor of our building in our classrooms. Fantastic. Hi, Tanya. Hi, John. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you so much, Debbie. You're welcome. Okay, let's, uh, let's go. Thank you. All right, John. So I'm here to talk to you about the Early Childhood Development Service Area, okay. which is now called Child Development and Education. The Office of Head Start likes to change our names every once in a while. Okay. So here in Head Start, we have 23 classrooms. Wow, I didn't realize you had that many. 23. Mm. And all of our classrooms have a teacher in each room. The teachers all have bachelor's degrees, and they all have Pennsylvania State Certification which means for you and I that these teachers have the same credentials as teachers in Pennsylvania that work in public schools. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I'm glad you emphasized that because I don't think a lot of people realize that. Right, and they yeah. do, especially in our program. Yes. Now, besides our teachers, we also have aides in our classrooms, 
And our aides also have credentials. They all have some type of early childhood credential, mm -hmm. whether that's an associate degree, some even have bachelor's degrees as well. We also have another option of the program called our home-based option. Uh -huh. And those teachers also have bachelor's degrees. They do services right in the home. So these teachers go into families' homes and they work individually with the parent and the child. It's kind of like having your own private tutor that comes oh, really? into your home. That's fantastic. Yes. They all have bachelor's degrees and they also have to have some type of early childhood credential as well. Now, one thing that many people don't know is that the Office of Head Start actually started initiating a mandate for credentials in September of 2011. So that was just one year ago. Okay. However, the private, private industry council, when they were awarded the grant in 1994, they started credential qualifications back then. And to date, they actually exceed the mandate of the federal government. Mm. So all of our teachers are, are well above the mandate of the federal government. Fantastic. Now, if you walk into our classrooms, it won't just be teachers and age you see. Who else do you think you might see there? Children. Children and parents. parents. That's yeah. right. Because <laughs> The philosophy of Head Start is that a parent is their child's first and most important teacher. Mm -hmm. So we have an open door policy at Head Start. We welcome parents all the time. They can come and spend the day. Uh -huh. They can come and spend an hour. They can come and just have a meal with their child. We want them to be involved with their child in every aspect of our program. If they can't come in and visit with us, we'll find a way to engage them and be involved. They may come in and do a bulletin board. Mm -hmm. They could come in and help a teacher plan an outing for the children to go visit somewhere in the community. They can come in and share their own talent or skill. Did you ever watch Sesame Street as a child? I did. Do you remember I, that? I watch as an adult. <laughs> Do you watch as an adult? Do you remember that song, Who Are the People in Our Neighborhood? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, the people in our neighborhood are parents, and we want children to know what the parents do, because when they grow up, they're going to be the people in our neighborhood. So we really try to get the parents involved and welcome into our program. And you do a very good job of that. Yes, and we love to have them. And that's why this is the center of excellence. And we have many teaching staff as well as, as of other staff that are actually previous Head Start parents and children. Oh, that's great. That's great. It's a wonderful program. It's a wonderful program. And that's program. why this is the center of excellence. That's exactly why. Okay. I guess the children don't stay in the classrooms all day, do they? No, they don't. They actually have to go outside every day as long as the weather permits. And we also have... Hey, John. Hey. Remember me? Andy Lister. I'm an education supervisor. Hey, Andy. How you doing? Good. I see this room uh, labeled to Steve Corson Jim. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about it? Because I'll tell you what, it looks like a miniature YMCA. Well, in fact, it is like a miniature YMCA because we, we like to not only take the kids outside, but when we have bad weather, we like to bring them in. Come on in. Okay. Wow, this is really cool. Wow. I'll tell you what they've done in here, John. As you can see, they've miniaturized everything because the kids aren't as big as us. They're like two foot tall. So they had to scale everything down. So we have the little rowing machine, we have the bicycle, but it's all scaled down for them. What's that over there? Andy? This is a climbing wall. Come on over. Can I climb it? Well, as you can see, we can't climb this. Oh, we're too I want, big. We're too I want big. To climb it. We're too big. Oh, okay. But if we're this tall, we climb. would love it. Oh, this is cool. And you got all these mats here, so everything is pretty safe. Everything's safe. Everything's matted. And even the mats are shaped different ways. We have a little trampoline. And everything's scaled down. Oh, and I, also... Yeah, that's like a little walker. Like that's that. a little walker. That's a little treadmill. Treadmill. That's okay. a treadmill. Okay. And everything's scaled down. And everything's for safety, too. Yeah, this is really nice. So um, this huh? is what we take inside. And, of course, they put the decorations up for the kids, but it's named after Steve Corson, who was a former football player, mm -hmm. and he was very, very dedicated to the um, health and well-being of young kids. Yes, I've seen many pictures around here with, uh, with him in and right. uh, with the children. So it's really dedicated to him and his family put a lot of effort into okay. the room. Andy, so can you do a somersault for us? I can, but you know what, John? I don't think I'm going to do it today. Oh, darn it. Hey, John, one other thing I want to, I want to tell you about. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you. These indoor gyms are great. It's fantastic for the kids in bad weather, in snow, when it's raining. But I want to tell you about the outdoor playgrounds that we have because that's where we love to take the kids. We've invested between five and $100,000 
with these playgrounds. They're countywide. We've got them all over the place. And the kids love them. It's all organized play, indoor and out, and it makes it great for the staff because the equipment's wonderful to use. I'll tell you what, we've had accolades from all over the place over these playgrounds. Okay, well, hey, right. thanks so much, Andy, for showing right, us John. around here. Thanks for coming. I appreciate okay. it. Bye -bye. See you later. I'm Amy Oldland, and I'm Polly Anstall, and we're at the Redstone Center, and you're watching The Big Connection! Hello, I'm John Evans, and welcome back to The Pick Connection. If you have comments or questions about today's show, please email me at jevans at privateindustrycouncil.com, and I will select a few messages to answer on the next show. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Oh, man. Hey, Andy, I just thought of something. After the kids are playing and a lot of activity going on, do they get a chance to eat? Hey, we have a great food service here, John. I'll tell you, as you can see, I love to yeah, eat. You don't miss a meal, do Gee, you? Gee, thanks a lot, John. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, we have 901 kids here, and I could probably feed one of them, but the other 900, we have to leave to our nutrition department. Uh -huh. But I'll tell you who can tell you a lot about that. It's our nutrition specialist, Kara Olson. And she can answer all of that. Okay, well, let's go talk with her. Let's go. Okay, John, we're going to go into our kitchen here, and here's our nutrition specialist, Kara Olson. Kara, this is John Evans. Hi, John. Hi Kara. Nice, nice to meet you. Here. Welcome to our kitchen. Fantastic. This is great. Yeah. Okay, John, one of our responsibilities includes making sure our children are served nutritionally balanced meals. Each classroom is served a lunch and either breakfast or a snack based on what time the class starts. We try to help our children explore new and healthy foods, and meals are served family style so that both children and adults participating in learning, even during mealtime. As another part of our services, we provide ongoing nutrition assessments for all enrolled infants, children, and pregnant women throughout the year. We are also lucky to have our registered dietitian, Judy Siebert, as a consultant, which adds to the expertise of our services. Fantastic. When do I get fed? <laughs> Let's head over to the lab. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to my friend, Kathy Shimko. Okay. One of the LPNs here at Head Start, Early Head Start. Well, hi, Kathy. Welcome, John. Nice, nice to see you. you. Hey, fantastic. Hi. Would you like to take a peek inside our lab? You know what? I sure would. Well, come right in. Okay. You know, here at Head Start, we provide comprehensive <laughs> services for the children, which means we um, provide hearing and vision and height and weight screens within 45 days of their start with our program. And we also provide daily health checks in the classroom. And in addition to that, now we have our lab where we can do their lead and hemoglobin levels. Uh -huh. Okay? If you look behind you here, okay, we have the equipment set up and what we need to do to do oh, their yeah. lead and hemoglobin testing. Yeah. Our little friend Chip visited me earlier today. As you can see, he has a boo-boo sticker because I, see that. Yeah. I had to do a fingerprint to get a tiny little bit of blood out <laughs> to see if he's healthy. And then when he was all done and he did a great job, we gave him the sticker that he oh, visited okay. his school nurse. Okay. So the and children kind of relate, can relate the, to that? The and children can out. relate to that, yes. Fantastic. To let them know. There's nothing that we do that we hurt our friends to make them afraid. Okay. This looks like, like my doctor's office. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. And it all has to be licensed uh, through yeah. the state in, in order for us to do it. And it's a great thing to oh, be able to nice. do. We, nice. we are, encourage our parents to get it done through the doctor. Uh -huh. Okay. But, you know, some of them are a little bit afraid of needles. So when they come in here, they don't really see a needle. It's just a little finger stick. So the parents are happier with getting it done here than going to the hospital. I can see that. Yeah, much more mm -hmm. relaxing here. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Plus, we have nice our, our like friendly you. nurses. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. There's three <laughs> of us LPNs that are employed full-time for Head Start. There's myself and two other nurses. And we also have a nurse consultant, Jean Sedilia, that we can call anytime we have some questions that we might need answered. Oh, by the way, John, I wanted to tell you also that besides the lead and hemoglobins we do here in the lab for the children, we do home visits with the children and we do health education with the parents and with the children in the classrooms. We also provide free dental exams. We have a mobile dentist van that comes from Cornerstone Care and they go to the different centers and they see the children there. And then we have another one that comes right here in the lab and sets up called Smiles for Life. And we schedule the dentist appointments for the children. They come in, they're seen, 
and all of our children have their up-to-date dentals. Okay, so everything is covered. Everything is covered. Fantastic. This is great. This is really, really nice. Okay, okay Kathy, well, thank you so much. And you're going to take me uh, to another department? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. And John, right here I have my friend Lori Bowers. She's going to talk to you about our early Head Start department. Fantastic. Well, Kathy, thank you so much. Well, nice talking you. to you. Okay. You too. Bye bye. Hi, Lori. How are you doing? Hi, John. I'm Lori Bowers, Early Head Start Supervisor. Fantastic. I'd like to show you the wonderful oh, resources great. that we have for our children zero to three. And we also service expectant families uh -huh. and provide many resources to them. What type of resources do you provide to newborns, Lori? Today, I will take you to one of our Early Head Start socials. And you can see what we do with our birth to three age children and their families. We have a wonderful room that has many play centers and great furniture for family interaction. And at all our socials, we provide a food experience to assist with nutrition at the youngest ages. Okay, fantastic. I want to go down and lay on that nice leather couch over that sectional. Very comfortable. Yes. This is really a nice room. There's all kinds of things in here for children. Yes. And then we actually have an infant area for those that aren't walking. Oh, okay. Are all these adults parents with their children, Lori? Actually integrated into the group of children and parents are our home visitors who work with children and their families on a weekly basis in addition to the socials. Okay. This is really, I'd like to stay here all day and play. Hey, Chip, I had to sit down. I'm tired. This is a very, very expensive operation here. And it's no wonder it's a center of excellence. So uh, what do you think about that? Well, of course we're a center of excellence. Jack. Oh, no, it's Jackie. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. So have you had a pretty good tour so far? Jackie, this is just fantastic. I'll tell you what, this operation is, is just um, amazing. It's a pretty amazing program. It is. It and, is. and all the people here, I mean, they're so dedicated. And the educational background that they have is just it's impressive. Absolutely. And, you know, not only do we meet the requirements, we always exceed them. We always are pushing the envelope, going the extra mile. And we even have something else to share with you. What's that? Well, a you know, meal. we've talked about, no, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> but I'm sure we can make that happen. Um, actually, you know, we've talked about this center of excellence um, recognition that we've gotten. Mm -hmm. And that recognition came with a grant award as well. And it allowed us to do a project that would enable us to do something for our com uh, community. Uh -huh. So really, this program is about parents and kids friends and partners and all of the relationships that we have with um, community agencies like WIC, like crime victims, like um, all of the um, nurse family partnership. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of relationships that we keep very strong. But in addition to that, um, we do have this Center of Excellence program that helps those programs as well as our folks learn more about social emotional needs of our children. I probably ought to introduce you to our supervisor of the SEEDS project, and her name is Brenda Cousins. Okay. She can tell you a whole lot more about it, okay? Yeah, I would like to know more about it, yes. All right. All right, Jackie. Well, thank you. Let's go talk to Brenda. All right. Okay. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Let me go ahead and introduce you to Brenda. This is Brenda Cousins. She's our SEEDS project supervisor. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda John. Center of Fantastic. I'm sure you can tell him lots of good stuff about the social emotional things you're doing. Well, Jackie, thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate we'll that. See you again. Okay. Hi, Brenda. Hi. Tell me all about the SEEDS program. Oh, welcome to the Center of Excellence. Uh, <clears throat> our Center of Excellence, the project is to help parents, families, friends, uh, partners, members of the community to learn positive ways to support and interact with their children. Okay. Yes, we adults sometimes do not realize the importance of our actions and our reactions in relationship to our child's behavior problems. That's why the COE, Center of Excellence, focuses on the social, emotional, early developmental success of all children, mm -hmm. and the acronym is SEEDS. This project uses the Incredible Years curriculum, which is a 14-week parent program of parent meetings, and okay. each parent receives a book, they participate in conversation, we watch videos of examples, mm -hmm. and we role play, and this builds an invaluable relationship and builds skills for parenting. Okay. And can you believe this? All of this is free. What? Wait, 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 wait. Chip, did you hear that? This is all free. It is Brenda, all it's free. all free? Yes, it is. It's Whoa. all free. It's free to anyone who is interested in participating and learning new ways to improve their parent-child relationship. Wow, that is fantastic, Chip. Well, Brenda, I guess to sum it all up, uh, you have to say the Head Start of Fayette County has always been a center of excellence. And I guess the recognition that they received 
help uh, the people here to dig in deeper to programs and even make it better. Hi, I'm Lacey Nicholson. I decided to do the SEEDS program because I am a single mother with two small children. I have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. And they are rambunctious and they are a handful and I just, I need help. So that's why I decided to do the SEEDS program and it has been great having the support behind me to raise my children and that is what Head Start's done for me in the last two years since I've been involved with the program. And I couldn't say anything bad about them because it's just been so wonderful having a program like this that you can involve your children in because they need that and they need you to be a good parent to them because you know there's so many children in the world that aren't that lucky but hey Head Start gives you that so keep on trying you just have to work at it being a parent's hard so the, the more that you can do for your kids the better I was overhearing something oh, and I Jackie. could not agree with you more I want everybody to know about the dedication and the wonderful things that happen here but all of the services are free that's amazing Jackie before we go to the next department is there a phone number that someone can contact uh, somebody in a SEEDS program Absolutely. Not only can they contact the SEEDS program, they can also contact Head Start. So I think there's a display of that number that's going to be rolling, and we'll um, hope that people take that down and, and actually give us a call because we love to hear from the community, especially those who may be ready to enroll a child or a parent who may be interested in participating in the SEEDS program. Good, good, very good. Okay. okay. You're going to take me down the hallway here, I guess. I you? think so. I think okay. we need to talk about one more thing that's kind of interesting, um, and that is that... By February, you're going to be seeing some really neat stuff. You're going to be seeing some digital frames that are going to have a PowerPoint presentation of the SEEDS program. Oh. They're going to be in waiting rooms. They're going to be in um, you know, doctor's offices. Uh -huh. uh, lots of our partners are really excited about having it because it's going to help them understand more about the SEEDS program. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. And it has some really good hints on it for social and emotional development. And so it's a really neat program. You might want to watch for those in the um, waiting rooms. I will. Jackie, what's that music I hear in the background? Well, you remember I told you about that digital frame, Andy? Tell him. Hey, do you hear that music, John? You again? Oh, it's me <laughs> always, John. You hear that music? I do hear that. Well, what's it all about? Well, I'll tell you what the Siege program. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah. Pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. Get down to that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that's social and emotional music that helps kids out. And the Seeds program brought Mr. David in, and he's a singer songwriter from Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And he writes and produces and plays wow. children's music. And we brought him in, and we had a training for all our staff. And you want to take a look at the training? Yes, I do. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. John, I just want to thank you for coming today and kind of going around the program oh. and getting to know what just a wonderful program this is. And you know, Jackie, I wish everybody in here in Fayette County could come over and see this facility. It is truly an excellent facility. The staff is wonderful. This truly is a center of excellence. I agree. And you know what? There are 10 other centers that reflect the same thing all throughout the county, and it's all about those people. Absolutely. Thank you, John. Thank you. I have a guest with us today, and his name is David Loftner. He's from the Sitgo Corporation, and I'm going to let you take it away, David. Thank you, Jackie. Glad you're here. Thank you very much. First off, I'd like to thank you for, for, for participating in the Sitgo Fueling Good campaign. Yes. Uh, this is our third year of honoring local heroes, mm -hmm. such as Head Start of Fayette County. Uh, so far, year to date, we've fueled more than 54,000 miles wow. uh, throughout Ooh, the country. That's amazing. We've given away $150,000 to 67 different charities. Uh, Sitco is very excited that we can do that for you guys. We appreciate everything you do. 
and we welcome you to the Sitco Fueling Campaign Winning Camp Winners. We campaign. love it. Thank, Thank you so us. much. Yes. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, guys, ready? One, two, three. Thank you, Sitco. All right. On behalf of Sitco, I'd like to give you a few things. Oh, thank you. First off, we have a plaque that says All right. Head Start of Fayette County. Mm -hmm. So we thank you for that. And the Fueling Good Winner. We love it when it says that. And what we're really interested in uh -huh. is we have approximately $5,000 worth of Sitco gift cards. Oh, that is awesome. And this is what we think you really want. It really is because this will help us make sure that that bus and other buses get gas for a whole month. And we really appreciate it because every one of those kids appreciates the transportation and relies on Super. it. Super. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you again. Keep doing great uh -huh. things. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Evans, and welcome back to the Pick Connection. I have some emails from our previous show we did in Collinsville with Gino Gallo concerning weatherization. And the first question I have is from Tony, who lives in Collinsville. And he wrote me, uh, John, will I have any out-of-pocket costs to receive my grant? Tony, uh, possibly. Each case is different. Uh, technically, it is a reimbursement grant. Uh, you pay the auditor. You pay the contractor. You get inspected and then you get reimbursed. So I hope that answers your question, Tony. Now, the second question I have is from Sally. She also lives in Collinsville, and she wrote me, John, are there any grants for commercial businesses? Sally has a commercial business in Collinsville. And Sally, yes, there are very specific grants for this, and you can contact the Fayette Energy Consultants for more information. So I hope that helps. Keep those emails coming, and we'll have more for the next show. Well, that's going to do it for today. I want to thank Jackie Hoppy, Director of Head Start Early Head Start of Fayette County. It truly is a center of excellence. I'll see you next time on the Pick Connection. And Chip, we've got to get these kids back home. Hey, 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 don't, don't touch it, don't touch it!